What's your favorite scary movie? Everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today, we have a massive announcement video talking about a bunch of big changes coming to the Killjoy Jake YouTube channel in 2022. Mostly good things, some things that might be a little controversial, but I'm uh, we're going to talk about all of them, and hopefully you guys, I want to hear your guys' opinion. Just a reminder, by the way, please don't leave spoilers for Scream if you know anything or you decided to spoil yourself. Personally, I think you're crazy if you decided to spoil yourself for a Scream movie, but please don't leave any comments here about that. That would be that would be just phenomenal. If you guys could just not comment any Scream spoilers until the movie comes out, please. That would be uh, great. But getting into these announcements, first of all, the locations videos. Probably the most exciting thing in this whole video that I'm announcing. I'm going to be doing locations videos on Screams 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yes, we've already filmed actually some of the Scream 4 locations video. I was in Ann Arbor earlier this week and uh, we filmed some of that. Um, I'm very excited to do the rest of these though. It's going to be an expensive trip because I'm going to have to go to Northern California for uh, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of different things. A lot of different shots for this uh, this whole series that I'm doing. Those are going to come out between February and May of this year. Now, the bad news with the locations videos is we're going to be working intensely on Red Right Hand Part 2 throughout the summer and like uh, late spring is what we're thinking. So there's probably not going to be a locations video for a while. I'm, pro I'm thinking like maybe not until October, September. Maybe we don't do another one, but I do have some in mind that I want to do. Uh, I don't want to say what yet, but for I, what I can announce is the sc is Scream 1 through 4 is definitely going to be happening. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to say this. I also want to do an Exorcist, the, the Exorcist locations video that was filmed in Washington, D.C. and uh, on a university close by. I can't remember the name of it offhand, but uh, that's probably the one we're going to do later in the year. That's one for sure. We might do like one or two later later this year, but uh, for sure Screams 1 through 4 will get locations videos this spring. Very excited to do those. Cannot wait for you guys to see them. There's been a bunch of requests that I do that, so those are going to get massive locations videos with a lot of research behind them and stuff. I want, I want to really amp that up in the locations videos this year. Uh, I didn't I, I did a lot of research for the Dawn of the Dead video. That That's probably, in my opinion, that was the best locations video from last year. I did a bunch of research for it, and it's a really solid video. It's very fun. It's very funny. Uh, it has a lot of good moments to it. If you haven't seen that one, please make sure to check out those. All the locations videos I do, I put a lot of work into. But that one was the most research heavy. And I want to do that again with these Scream uh, videos that I'm go going to be doing later in uh, the year. Uh, moving forward, though, this is obviously not my usual style of videos, which is uh, something I kind of wanted to announce. I'm going to be doing these podcast style videos where they're uh, mostly like audio focused. Like I, I, I just bought this new mic. I invested in a really good mic to do these kind of videos uh, moving forward on the channel because the thing is. With smaller updates, when I, I put a lot of work into the videos that I film over on my set, I have this like DSLR camera, which you can see in the background now, and it's uh, it, I film that and I'll, I'll, I'll take all the clips, I'll put it on my computer, and then I like I splice everything and make it perfect. And it's like usually a longer video too, it just it takes a lot of time to edit. These videos, I don't have to do that much editing, it takes like 15 minutes of editing, it's not too bad, and I can talk about many more subjects that I want to. I mean, this was the first week of my entire YouTube career where I felt like I covered every story I wanted to cover. And there wasn't even that many stories. I mean, I only posted like six or seven videos this week. Uh, that's that's the big thing. That's the big reason I want to do this because I just, I don't get to, I had to prior, prioritize in the past. I had to be like, okay, well, what's going to be the biggest story to talk about? And I only was able to talk about that. This week, I was able to talk about Nicolas Cage playing Dracula in a new movie. Like, that's awesome. I would have never had time to do that if I was doing all my videos in the style I was before. But... I will say this. I am going to do some smaller updates like this. I posted a Scream video today in this style just because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm feeling a little bit better now, actually. But um, I, 
won't typically post a lot of videos like this. It's just going to be for the smaller stories, for the big updates like trailers, uh, movie announcements, um, th films that are just <laughs> way more popular than others. They will be on that set. Moving forward with the channel, I want to talk about more stories. There are even more things that I'm discovering today that I would love to talk about on, on the page. And uh, like once I get an editor, once I can do more videos like this, it's just every week is going to be like this where I'm talking about yeah, like I'm yeah, I'm doing the updates on the big movie with like Scream. I'm about to do a Halloween kills video probably this weekend. Halloween ends video, I mean, this weekend. Uh, but I'm also talking about like Jordan Peele's Nope. I got to do a little recap video on that. I got to talk about Insidious 5. I got to talk about Renfield. I got to talk about the Friday the 13th lawsuit. A little update on that. I would never have been able to do that if I was doing all my videos on the set over there because they're just a little more difficult to make. My videos are not going to lose the silliness or craziness that that they have. Uh, I, I don't want to... Mo moving forward with the channel, I want to do more. I, that, that's the big reason I want to do this. I want to do more for you guys. The audience on this page is just wonderful. Everybody who comments on these videos are just... It's, it's a wonderful community we're growing here. And I would like to talk about more topics. That's That's the big reason I'm doing all of this. But the, the last thing, the last big announcement here is that obviously with Scream 5 coming out next week, I won't be able to do so many Scream updates. And I have clearly built a, um, a community of people on here that love the Scream franchise, that love the Halloween franchise as well. I want to start doing, uh, I want to dedicate a day to both of those franchises, to the Scream franchise and the Halloween franchise. So... I'll be able to do Halloween ends updates up until that film comes out, but as of right now, we don't have an announced new movie for either franchise after uh, Scream 5 comes out and after Halloween ends comes out. So I won't be able to do updates on those. But what I do want to do is I want to dedicate Sundays to the Scream franchise, and then I think I'm going to dedicate Saturday to the Halloween franchise after it after the new one comes out in October, where I just, just discuss some kind of topic from the franchise, and then we can all just discuss it as well in the comments section. I want to keep that conversation going even past this new movie coming out because clearly there's a there's a want for that. There's I, I also want to discuss different things. There are, I don't get to do videos on um, the franchise so far. Like there are different opinions I would like to express. There are things I'd like to rank. There are location videos I would like to make for both franchises, which will happen. I think for I think for sure that would be a fun thing to do. Once again. I want everybody's opinion, though. I want to hear what you guys think about that. If I should make a weekly video on either franchise moving forward. Don't want to just drop either franchises because I really enjoy talking about both of them. And there's a lot of things that I feel like I could talk about regarding just the four movies in the Scream franchise and all of the Halloween movies. I mean, oh my God, there's an endless amount of things you can talk about with those films, especially. So that's uh, something I definitely want to hear your guys' opinions on. So please leave a comment on this video specifically about uh, these things I just talked about. I want to hear your guys' opinion on that. I love talking Scream with you guys, but like, uh, I know a lot of people want to comment about that in the new movie. We, I know I have the uh, comments off on my other videos. I, I know people want to talk about that, but uh, if we can just keep the comment section on here specifically based off of what I have discussed in this video and your guys' take on that, if you're, if you're for it, against it, I want to hear what everybody has to say. At the end of the day, though, this channel is a democratic dictatorship. I will ask your guys' opinion, but, you know, like, my my say is is final, which is probably a little little harsh. But at the end of the day, I got to do got to do what I got to do with uh, my my content creation and like also regarding my my mental health. Like it's it's also a lot of work. When I was trying to pump out like two videos a day doing that, it was starting to weigh a lot on my mental health. I mean, I actually broke down at work this past November and I had to go home. I was like in tears because I was just I was so stressed out. I didn't stop working uh, for like two whole weeks. It was just like I would wake up, I would work for 16 hours, I would go to bed is what it was. And doing this is a lot <laughs> so much easier and I'm still putting out the amount of content I want to put out. So this is something that it's going to be hard for me to say no to just because of all the money I've invested into making this style of videos. But like I said, that the, my or, or old way of making videos, I'm not going to stop doing that. So it, this is kind of a compromise with what my audience wants to see and and the fact that I have to respect my own mental health and physical health. So that it's it's a big deal that I'm I'm doing this. It's a big step forward. It's something I'm very nervous about moving forward with the channel as well. But this week has been a big indication of if this is going to be a success or not. I've had a lot I've had a really good week. This I, and I was kind of worried with Jan January uh, analytics don't usually look so good and I'm I'm doing I'm I'm doing good. I hate to sound I hate to pat myself on the back but I'm I'm keeping it up. You want to see more podcast videos. Are you excited for the location 
Generations videos coming out later this uh, spring. And do you want to see a Scream Sunday? Like where every week on Sunday I post a Scream video. I dedicate Sundays to that. And maybe I dedicate Saturdays to Halloween, the Halloween franchise as well. I feel like both of those franchises are incredibly important. Maybe the mo two most important franchises to horror. So like I that I feel comfortable dedicating an entire day of my week to both franchises. What do you guys think about all of those things though? Please leave me a comment about it down below. And one more thing I want to say, thank you all so much for just supporting my channel for the past two, almost three years now. I, this has been the wildest ride ever. I am just in, absolutely enjoying my time. This has been so much fun just making these crazy videos, talking to people about something I hold so dearly and close to my heart. It's so much fun. I don't see myself stopping this anytime soon. I want to keep talking about horror movies with people. It's just so great. It's I live for this. I wake up every morning excited to make a new video talking about horror movies with a bunch of people online. It's great. And this channel is growing so much. I'm just incredibly grateful. And, and so, I don't know. I, I, I can't even put into words how exciting all of this is to me. So I just wanted to thank you all. Thank you to my patrons, especially who support me there. Oh, that's another thing I got to announce. My Patreon exclusive video where I go through all the crap on my set. That is coming out on Monday now because it's been a busy week. But no problem there. That will come out on Monday. We're going to be working on it all weekend and that you will see patrons, everyone, everyone on Patreon, even if you only support me for a dollar, will be able to see this video. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be an absolute banger going through all my movies, giving little opinions on all the weird films I have. And then like going through all this crap over here, like you, uh, <laughs> that stuff. Yeah. So that's, that's going to be great. I'm, I'm very excited. Thank you all so much for watching this announcement video. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe, check out my screen videos and I and please, and buy a ticket for scream five that comes out on Friday. See it Thursday too. If you can so see it, then I'll have a little review video Thursday night, non spoilers. Of course, make sure to do that. Buy your tickets, subscribe to this page, support me on Patreon. If you can, that'd be pretty sick. Thank you all again for watching. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there. Y'all.